Hi and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I am Kevin Kitchens and in this episode we're going to do an unboxing of The Shores of Tripoli from designer Kevin Bertram and it was produced by Fort Circle Games. This is the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps against the Pirates of Tripoli from where the Marine Corps gets the line in their song from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. And it's, it's good that uh, to have a game where, uh, in my opinion, where pirates are treated uh, as pirates, not as heroes. We have too many, you know, celebrating the bad guys kind of thing. So it's, this is nice here to, to have a real historical uh, spin on this this uh, kind of uh, uh, treachery. So anyway, let's take a look at what's inside. Um, it is uh, got a, it's solitaire friendly. It's one to two players. Nice thick box. And they're getting a lot better with their production, I think. So here's what you're going to get in Shores of Tripoli. So we have the rule book, which is full color cover. Nice artwork. Got a different artwork. Uh, it's only 12 pages. And here's the rules for the solitaire play right on the back. Um, basically, you know, the usual component overview. Game setup is very large print, very much white space, so that's good news. Uh, so it's not going to be hard to learn. So you got the American play, uh, the Tripoli play, end of seasons, and the combat rules, and then the solitary rules. So you will, it will, we'll play solitary. You don't have to play against yourself. Let's see. Make sure, yes, the solo player takes on the role of the United States and plays against the Tripolitan Bot, henceforth referred to as the T Bot. So here we go. It's a small rule book. Easy to learn. Then you've got a separate uh, historical supplement and designer notes. And it comes in and also 12 pages and talks about the Barbary War, uh, so on and so forth. So you can read that and learn about this. This is taking place in the early 1800s. Uh, it tells you everything that you might want to know. And then the designer's notes are put it together, suggested bibliography, and more. So. And then a portion of every purchase uh, is going to go to Toys for Tots, so that's pretty awesome. So uh, you contribute them throughout the year instead of just with a gift at Christmas. All right, so we have a very nice, this is a linen finish uh, letter to Yusef Kouramanli, Pasha and Bey of Tripoli. Uh, I'll let you read it yourself, but it's a, uh, a letter, you know, a simulated letter to them. And maybe a duplicate of, a, of an actual letter. All right, so then we have a bag of goodies here. All right. So we have, oh, have letters sliding around. I'll take this stuff off here. The side. So then we have ship meeples, wooden ships. No iron men, just some wooden ships. Different game. And then we've got, if you're going to be, I would assume gold coins, because they're gold and they're coin shaped. And then we've got some black wooden markers. And of course, that's in the components. If I wanted to look, so they tell us what they were. Turn markers and 12 gold coins. So the black markers are the uh, turn markers. So we got lots of dice. So we got red and blue and yellow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of each, 24 dice. We've got a deck of cards, and there's Yusuf uh, Karamanli. Karamanli. I get it. I get it to show here. There he is. All right, so we got these cards. And they are, uh, no, so apparently the American cards are going to be uh, Jefferson and the Tripolitan cards are going to be Yusef Cormanli. What a manly guy. All right, so these are your action cards that you can play. Um, variety of different things, moving naval movement, early deployment. Constantinople, not Istanbul, demands tribute. Uh, 
Hammett, uh, not Dashiell. Or... Anyway, uh, Hammett's Army, uh, Army recruits Bedouins, so and so forth. So these are different action cards. They're very nice. They are pretty thick quality. A little thin. Might want to sleeve them. They have a they have that nice linen look without being uh, actual linen finish, which is always nice. Linen finish is dreadful for cards unless you sleeve them and then you lose the linen finish. So I don't know what the point of it is. And then uh, and then obviously you have the cards for the Tripolitan, which I never heard that word before, but it makes sense. Tunisian Corsairs Raid, the Moroccan Corsairs Raid, Troops to Dern, Troops to Benghazi. Uh oh. Could do it back then, but not uh, a few years ago. Triple A Attacks, Sweden Based Tribute, so on and so forth. So there you go. So decks of cards for each side. And then we got the game board right here. It's a four panel game board, and we'll take a look at that. So here's the game board. Um, it is four panel, but it's four panels long, which is kind of interesting. So it's basically 34 by 11, which is really nice if you're playing solo because you have the whole thing right in front of you. And if you're playing, it's, it's wide enough that if you're playing two player, then you can sit side by side and still take care of what you need to. So just a quick look at the, what the board looks like. Different uh, regions, areas that markers go in. Obviously, turn markers are going to go there. Uh, so, two turn markers will be the year and the season. So, it looks like there's six years, four seasons. So, you got 24 turns. And that is the game board. And now we'll just recap what all you get in the box of the Shores of Tripoli. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Shores of Tripoli from Fort Circle Games and designer Kevin Bertram, what you're going to get? Oh, we had some more stuff we can go through here. Uh, you got some small ships, and then red, white, and blue markers as well. So you're going to get a bag of wooden bits. You're going to get 24 dice in three colors, eight each. You're going to get a deck of cards, half for... Tripoli, half for America, and you're going to get game board, four panel game board. You're going to get the rules of the game, a flavor text letter, and a historical supplement and designer's notes. And that is everything that's going to be in Shores of Tripoli. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!